By the end of the last video, I had just allied with the Hansa and I was about to take a look at what buildings I could make in some of my provinces. I've got a bit of money uh, that I can actually spend now. What I think I'm going to do though with that money is maybe wait until I've got shipyards or maybe even workshops before spending that. It's actually been quite a while since I recorded last, so at the start of this video I think I could do with uh, refreshing my memory a bit and perhaps refreshing your memory as well to a certain extent. So you can see here uh, that Lithuania is having quite a few problems. I've been making claims against them recently. I'm really hoping that I'm going to be able to declare war on them uh, soon, but I'm probably going to have to wait until they lose their alliance with Poland. Uh, Genoa and Serbia shouldn't matter. Or I could actually go after Poland, drop our alliance and perhaps attack them. Uh, Lithuania would dishonor. Saxony, well, the allies of the hands are which could cause an issue. I don't think I want to do that though. Remind the knights of their duty, that's not mission. Maybe that's to do with uh, uh, Teutonic Order, maybe even myself. I doubt it's actually the Knights of Rhodes. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, so I'm probably going to wait until Lithuania loses their alliance of Poland. One of these two wars are in. Perhaps they'll make that as uh, part of the peace deal. Other than that, I've got some mercs that I've had for absolutely ages that I should probably scrap at some stage. I can see here, Latin medieval infantry are actually pretty out of date now. Although, having said that, it's only one pip difference between the later units that you can have here. But I'm probably going to scrap those. I've actually got a list written down here, which I should probably check so uh, to remind me what I should be doing. I haven't actually increased my papal influence with the Pope during this whole game, I believe. Uh, if I increase my diplomatic relations with the Papal States and I will get more Papal influence. So I should do that at some point. Uh, Mercs I need to get rid of. War against Lithuania. Eventually I'm going to need some colonial nation names if I'm going to basically take the historical path of uh, Kurland because they had their own colonies. So if you've got any good colonial nation names in perhaps in Latvian that would be a pretty good idea. I should probably mention a bit about the achievement that you can get with the Livonian Order and actually the Teutonic Order as well. So basically if you conquer the whole of the Russian region and convert it to Catholicism, all of these provinces, then you get an achievement. I think it's called the Baltic Crusader. So I may want to do that before actually becoming Kurland. I haven't fully decided yet. Uh, it could cause issues. Well, it's, I've got a lot of territory to take and a lot of territory to convert so I may delay becoming Kurland quite for quite some time perhaps but these ideas are so amazing that it wouldn't be a bad thing to be honest I can't actually remember the Kurland ideas maybe I'll stick some in our notations here but they're definitely not as good as uh, these divine ideas so let's actually scrap some of these mercs then now even though they're not that bad really so I've got two Latin ones three Latin ones there do I have any here as well? I guess I have one there. So my manpower's recovered a decent amount. I think it's probably an idea now to scrap these in a minute. Let's move that there. Let's recruit some infantry. So I've got the money. Doesn't really matter anymore where you make your troops because there's no province-related bonuses like they used to be for certain armory buildings. Uh, the barrack-type buildings now all they give are force limits and manpower. There's no minus the cost like they used to be on units. So I like that change. So I think I just need to wait at the moment until something happens. There's a truce running out there with Sweden. That hopefully won't be the next war but it could be if uh, nothing much happens for a while. I need to wait a month to see the modifiers because they're actually wrong at the start of the month so my revolt risk might have gone down now. What's that? Riga. Right, I need to keep an eye on that and maybe stick my troops there. I've actually got a ton of war exhaustion which I've forgotten about so I'm actually need to burn that off anyway for a few years it would seem. Okay, so a rich revel. 
Cleveland. Okay. My monarch points are getting to a rather large amount, but I'm going to wait until for neighbor bonuses, basically. Could maybe take my admin ones now for ideas. I think that just dropped. If I'm remembering correctly, I can't do anything until 91. Next embargo or insult. Not 100% sure on that. Okay, did we just make a ton of units? Yes, we did. Right, so. Over my force limit, let's scrap. Let's mix. Making good money. House Novgorod's pretty good. I'm actually planning on taking another vassal at some stage. I'm not going to say which one yet, but uh, maybe you can guess it. Might help out uh, with potential colonizing. Uh, so, what's going on here? Behemoth's got itself, or Pomeranian has got itself involved in a war. Okay. Right. So it looks like one of these wars is just finished. Lithuania will cede Zappar Zapporozia to Golden Horde and pay 14 ducats. Right. That is. Not quite what I wanted, frankly. I want them to lose their alliance with Poland. Uh, how's relations with Austria? Got to keep this up high, and being allied to Poland is going to be reducing that because they are rivaled. Okay. I haven't checked this, have I? Military situation here. So Lithuania. Yeah, they're completely and utterly wrecked. Poland is probably recovering since it's recovering from its relatively recent wars. Okay, and that's up as well. So they seed Ingil. Wow, that's really disappointing. I don't think they've lost their alliance, but they've lost two provinces, which promises that don't massively matter. Right, so they're fully at peace now. Let's wait until I get my claim back, uh, diplomat back and we'll see what we can do here. Okay. Right, so Poland will support them. None of my guys would. If I attack Poland, Austria might join in. It's, it's a really big gamble to drop Poland as my ally now though. And then attack Poland. It could be the right decision now, but I'm not sure I'm willing to take it. Alright, let's keep on making some more claims against Lithuania. At the moment, it doesn't look as if this war is going to happen anytime soon, though. I could. Let's check out Poland as well. See what the percentage is. It's very high because we don't actually rival them. So fabricate claim. I've no idea which one I want really. Let's do that one. Right, it looks as if nothing much is going to happen for a while. Okay, I have said that. Hansa just declared war on Pomerania. The conquest Cassus Belli, are they going to ask me in? Uh, possibly. So they are allied to. Poland, Brandenburg. I'm sure I want hands are getting particularly strong, to be honest. 
he may just disarm it. I hand to ask some people in, but not myself. Okay. Fine by me. Once it's claim run out as well. 94, okay. May want to take Gotland in uh, next war against Sweden. Failed administration. Our administration has failed our people. Instead of justice for all, there is justice for the few. It is undermining the very support of our state. Lose one stability. Okay, that sucks. Okay, do I want to increase my stability? So I could... That guy's yearly prestige. No, I don't want to hire any of those. Is there any reason... Yeah, I'm going to raise stability. I don't think it's a reason not to. Arguably. I'm hoping that Poland, well, if Poland got into a really big war, well, hopefully they get into an offensive war, but if they, I need a situation where they won't defend Lithuania, basically. It doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. Brabant is allied to Sweden. Denmark by hands arrival. Okay, Sweden has declared one Pomerania. So it looks like everyone is going after Pomerania now. So Pomerania has part of the Danish islands and Bornholm as well, which yeah, never Danish island originally. Uh, okay, so who exactly are they at war with? Pomerania Friesland. Hopefully that will complicate things when I get into another war against them. I could actually break truces to actually get into a war quicker, but I don't think it's a good idea. Maybe I should have looked though. But it's probably like an extra 50 aggressive expansion, which even if we're in the northern part of Europe, so that's going to probably be too much. Uh, claim fabricated. Okay, so we're to now. Trakai. I've got uh, military points to spend in a bit. With two years over it. Probably gonna actually develop some of my provinces with that in a minute. I wish it was another war I could start, but it just doesn't seem to be. Uh, Scotland just cleared one Denmark. That's not good, perhaps, for me. I'll take some of these islands. Actually, wouldn't mind having some of those. Uh, Pomerania. Make peace with the hands. Uh, no territory exchange, though, surprisingly. Oh, shit. When did I go over my melody points? Uh, right, I need to spend some of this then. So two years ahead. Now if you're going to spend, well the only thing I can really spend it on is generals or tech. And I don't want to do it on tech because we're, we're ahead. Uh, generals, army tradition is going down. Arguably I should spend it on that but I don't think I'm going to. So let's spend it on actually developing some provinces. Now if you're going to raise the base manpower which is what the military power point spend does. You're probably going to want to stick barracks in the provinces that you're raising the manpower in. Now the best places for barracks are probably inland provinces because the sea provinces you more than likely are going to want dry docks and shipyards and also marketplaces because marketplaces are better there because you get you can see their coastal 25% bonus. So the only places that I have inland that I really want to increase the development in currently are Dorpat and Latgalia because they are Latvian. 
if I were to increase the development in non provinces of my primary culture then when I want to basically culture convert them it would cost me more the development is what determines the change culture cost so I've only got two provinces I can really do so let's increase uh, dual path first so I'm going to raise that by two so it's now up to ten and not also another consideration when increasing your development, you can't actually increase one of these three stats to more than the combined amounts of the other two. So say for example, in this situation, I can't raise this to six because that would be more than those two. In fact, yeah, I think I can raise it to five. So what I'm going to have to do here is raise one of these first, if I'm going to get this to 10, I think, it, which is what I want to do. And I should probably raise one of these first because it will be cheaper in terms of the cost. Now these aren't particularly amazing areas to raise development in because Woods gives an extra 15% to the development cost. But getting it up to uh, levels of 10, 20 you know, divisible by 10 is really important because I can get more buildings. So let's raise uh, one of these. I think in this circumstance the best one to raise would be tax because increasing production here wouldn't be all that worthwhile. It's a very poor trade good. Grain's one of the worst trade goods in the game. And if I raise tax and maybe I could have a temple here later on. So let's raise that by one. So it's 57. Let's add them down. Now let's raise the development here, manpower. So it just went up there. So, yeah, that's level, so I can raise that. Maybe I should have raised this first just to show you that I would have to raise that, but uh, yeah. So that's now 10. I can have an extra building. It's got a ton of extra manpower. Uh, both of these would be very good places for barracks. So those two provinces now are my best manpower provinces, so yeah, I definitely want to get some barracks here. So if I place barracks there, that increases the manpower from this province by 500. It's an extra 50% thousand there already. And let's do this one as well. Okay. Right, let's... Uh, wait for a situation now where I can get a diplomat back when's the truce run out here 94 still a long way away I really want to start another war but I just can't unless I scrap my Polish alliance it looks as if Sweden has made peace with Friesland I think they declared war on Pomerania though didn't they yeah to complete that mission hopefully there we go so an extra 25 diplomatic power and prestige let's pick another mission conquer Palenque I'm sure what that is right yeah there's no good mission sadly then I can get this back now, let's do that. Sweden are now at war with Denmark. Honored Scottish Alliance. Right, let's take that back. Let's check the situation. Genoa's would help now as well. I've got a feeling I might have missed an opportunity here, but oh well. Uh, let's improve relations with... Oh god. Competing great power has been added onto that now, which is... Uh, load relations even more. Relations there. Embargo win. Let's do Denmark, if I can. I'm doing Denmark. Oh, Sweden for that. What about insult then? 
Right, we can do that. So let's send an insult to Denmark. Right, that one up. Good. The Lantern of Light. The heinous heretical book, The Lantern of Light, claims that the principal cause of the persecution of the original Christians was the illegal retention of precious goods by priests. It also goes on to compare the seats of archbishops or bishops with those of the Antichrist. This book has been found in the possession of a relapsed heretic that, despite many years in prison and many tearful abjurations, still seemed to refuse to change his ways. So, silence, heretic, gain devotion, right, prestige or devotion, basically. So, I think I'm going to go for prestige. It's usually better. Pomerania makes peace with Sweden. So Sweden has actually taken a couple of territories off them. Lolland and Bornholm. Which might not be the end of the world, frankly, because I'm going to be declaring war on Sweden and taking territory off them in a bit. Diplomats return from Austria. Right, let's not forget our admin, so I'm going to get the next idea. To be honest, that's not going to help me at all. That one isn't that good either. You can make a case for not getting these admin ideas, arguably, but that cost, tech cost would probably be worthwhile, maybe. Extra goods are nice, the extra advice is nice. It's, yeah, so I'm going to complete it. And completing all of these will get these ideas sooner, so... The co-creation cost one is actually pretty huge. So get into that before I actually core up anything. It's probably a very good idea. So I need two more to uh, get that, I think. It's money like. Right. right, I've got diplomat back. Let's actually improve relations with the papacy then. 